Okay, well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Welcome to Thought Massage. Those of you who do not know me, I'm Dr. Anita Caprice Powell, and I'm here to share the universal vibe and such. All right, so before we get started, I want to say hello, October. Yeah, I thought about Sammy Davis Jr. this morning when he says hello, Detroit. So hello, October. All right, well, we know to just to recap a bit that uh, the year 2023 is building our faith and exercising more wisdom than intellect. And wisdom comes from our heart. Intellect comes from our mind. And we want to start utilizing that, uh, our heart, you know, because it's, um, you know, the Egyptians said that the truth is in the heart center, not the layers, like the earth has layers, but the heart, the center, the nucleus of the heart. And so many songs say, follow your heart. When they say, follow your dreams, like follow your heart. So that's what 2020 three represents, okay? And building on that faith. If you have the faith of a mustard seed with no inner doubt, I guarantee you uh, that the vision that you have, it will be because that is the vision of the creator for you. All right. So uh, the month of October, this month of October is a month of clearing and clean organizing. Okay. It's the beginning of wherever there's some disorganization in your sphere of influence, you know, your your world, then you want to organize it because, you know, we know that our outside is a replica of what's going on inside, okay? And at the end of October, there should be a semblance of, uh, of uh, success and and efficiency, okay, by October 31st. So what we want to do is start looking outside, looking outside, knowing that what we're actually doing is looking within and see where we need to do some organization. Okay, it's something because today, the universal vibe for today is actually the, the, the foundation of it is beginning getting some stuff you know, getting, getting things, getting some stuff, beginning some things, and then to organize, to organize them because you want to put a wrap on it. Okay. So that is really something, you know, because anytime we, you know, put, put wrap up something, put closure to something, that means there's something new that is beginning because it's a round robin. There is no end. There is no beginning. It's just a continuation, but we must, it's a process, you know, it's a process. So that's what today uh, and this week, this week, you know, this week is looking at, you know, organizing and wrapping it up and completing that because the month of October is getting into that success and efficiency. We know that Sunday, this is Sunday, and the, the color of Sunday is gold, which is imagination and masculine in color. I mean, masculine in name. Uh, the color, the color is gold, which is masculine in nature and represents imagination. All right. And our thought massage, I mean, our thought reflection, I pulled this, wait, let's see, go this way. When I feel like this, my stinker, stinker thinker shows up. You know, that's just simply our limited belief. And all we need to do with our limited belief, let's start looking at that, you know, uh, not enough, that's confidence, not deserving, that's regret, not worthy, that's guilt. And just start looking at that and not trying to get rid of it because that limited belief, stinker, thinker, whatever you want to say, call it, is part of our personality, it's part of our human nature, and it's part of that, and our human nature is imperfect, but we know that we can tap into a divine, and that that limited belief, believe it or not, helps to keep us humble, you know, because that absolute power corrupts absolutely. All right. So we need to keep a balance on that because we know now, we know now that we are also divine. So that's the, that's the, the uh, thought reflection, you know, thought reflection starting now. Yeah. Wrap. Oh my gosh. Starting now wrapping up 
putting that limited belief in its place. It no longer is going to master us. We are going to master it and put it in its place and embrace it where it belongs to help keep us humble and help us remind us that also, yeah, we, there's there's the divine inside of us as well. All right, so the thought massage, and I am taking this from a guide from the Advanced Soul, a book of insight by Susan Hayward. So, um, in, in lieu of the thought massage book that I normally do, so I'm just gonna put this up to my chest here. What I'm doing, I'm putting it up to my chest taking some nice, gentle, yet deep breaths. And then I'm just gonna open it up because it's just to let us know, you know, you trust the instinct, open the thing up, excuse me, and then just read. Oh, at any moment, I could start being a better person. But which moment, oh, should I choose? Oh my God, that gave me chills, oh my gosh. At any moment, I could start being a better person, putting that limited belief, that karmic debt in its place. But which moment should I choose? Organizing what's on, oh Jesus, organizing what's on, just got to chills again, organizing what's on the outside so that it can be organized on the inside. But now the million, ooh, 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 ooh. the million dollar question is, which moment are we going to choose to do it? Lord have mercy. Thank you. All right. So we know that the journey of self-recovery is absolutely beautiful. And I hope you know so beautiful, both he and she, so are you. So what are we doing? We are tapping into that trust within that we are human and divine, that within our imperfection absolutely rest perfection because we are created in the image of perfection. And as you tap into you, I tap into me, we tap into we because we know it is one energy, one love, and we are connected with each other. Oh, this was a powerful, powerful thought massage for this week. All right, blessings, peace. And love and the music that you're listening to is solitudes. All right. <laughs>